we're going, believe it or not, we're going to the post office. Um, I received a message. This crap on those windows. This morning, it's one of those mornings that um, it looks like it's going to rain, but it, and it's not cold. It is not cold at all. What's happened? I'm going to the post office. Uh, um, haven't been for a while, but I ordered a couple of things, and I ordered an, an XLR import thing, and I ordered some funny money, some stage money, some prop money. So I just wonder what's there. Uh, all of this is for east side, west side, time to kill. Because we needed some cash. And uh, it's just easier with, with stupid money. So I got some from China. And apparently it's fairly um, good looking. Um, American money. So it's not Australian, but does that matter? We haven't said where we live well, and we're going to basically in the next episode. So I can change the dialogue, but I use some Australianisms in uh, uh, in the. I'm just concentrating. Uh, I use some Australianisms in the um, in the dialogue, so I can change it. I can, I, but I don't want to. <laughs> You're just going to have to put up with the fact that uh, when you see the cash, uh, it's going to look a little strange. Look at that twin is just down here. They had they would have fallen over. Oh, that is a real shame. But the inside of it was hollow. Look at that. Wow. These were humongous trees. Anyway, here we go. There is a difference between uh, cyberspace and real world. And we just proved it. That uh, the little postman in cyberspace said, "We have a posty. We have a, a a thing for you. Come and get it." And I've gone, "Oh, good." I arrive at the post office, but it isn't open because the post person isn't there yet. Because they have a real world job, and they don't get there till nine. And it's it's just on eight o'clock. I didn't. I thought, oh yeah, I'll just shoot up, won't I? It'll be fine. And uh, no, that's all right. What I'll do? I'll, I'll dive off for my walk. I might have a cup of coffee first though. But I'll dive off for my walk. And then I'll go back to the post office. But at least I know that there's something there. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the third leg of my morning walk. This is the this is the uh, the pretty section, I suppose. It's just a dirt track, not even a road. Oh. Yeah. So here we are out doing this and we got a few almost Walt Disney colors over the back there and that isn't um well it sort of is southwest so yeah we're gonna get some rain today hopefully not before I hit home but it's it's starting to build up you can feel it oh 
normally I wouldn't do this. Well, I, this is Tuesday and I normally wouldn't be doing this, but I thought, what the heck. And we'll keep it for Wednesday. And we'll do it on, put it up on Wednesday. But uh, I'm worn out. I did a fairly big clip. I was moving pretty quick down that way and then back up. So I've slowed down a bit now. <laughs> But we're about uh, oh five to seven hundred meters from home. I'd say about five hundred. I can't really see because the road's all twisty. This looks like you're lost, but not really. <sighs> Followed this road, it takes you right to my place. <sighs> Always wanted to live in the bush, and here we are. I'll stop this. Hang on. Yeah. This is the video that I'll be uploading later on. And you, you've seen me going to the post office. This is what we got. Look at that. There's a whole stack. Well, I got, I got two stacks of money. It doesn't look all that bad when you, actually, is, uh, who is that? It's, is that Honest Abe? No, it's probably, um, I don't know who that is. I, do, I don't know who that is. Um, who is that? If you're an American, maybe you can tell me who that. But anyway, it's on the $100 bill there and uh, we got it all here I should know shouldn't I I'll have, hang on who is it uh, Benjamin Franklin it's Ben Benny F yeah that's who it is see I'm not a big I as a matter of fact, Australian money is even worse because uh, we've got people on our Australian money that we don't even know who they are. They somehow were part of our history, but being a baby boomer, and I can say this with confidence, that we were never taught about our history. We learned all the kings and queens of England and we, we know all about uh, English history. Very little about Australian history. Very little indeed. And that's what wasn't taught when I was at school was Australian history. Good morning. It's Wednesday and it is, it's raining. <laughs> Back to winter, woo. Actually, I don't mind. It's very, very, very fine rain. But you can just barely feel, but you, if you're walking through your hair, I'm going to get soaked. Sorry, I'm going to get soaked. Uh, but I want to continue doing this walk. Zero, the dog is inside from next over the road. He's, he's inside. Smart animal. And he, yeah, this is going to get wet. I could jump on the exercise bike. Anyway, we're off and pumping for a Wednesday. The sound you can hear is Timothy and what he's doing. He's cut down that tree. Have a look at this. Yeah. Right there, look at that. I'm going to get out of the rain and I'll get you a closer look. All right. This is what's left up there, and that's going to come down too. There's the bit that's left right here.
And that's going to come down real soon. There we go. This is the top of the tree right here. It just brushed the hothouse only by a millimetre. It just, just got there. Right there. But look at it. Right back. And there's the stump. Right there. Okay, it's wet, it's raining. You can probably hear the rain hitting the microphone. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm just out at the back and we can we can it stopped raining a little bit and you can see uh, the mess that we've made but that's all right it, it needed to come down because it was threatening the house every time the wind blew you could hear it creaking and you knew damn well it was going to come down so we've done the deed and i'll take my time cleaning that up because we'll shift it over to the fence and leave it sit uh, maybe for 12 months maybe for two years and it'll be good firewood for us. And you know how much I love firewood. <laughs> anyway, that's down. That's another job that we don't have to do anymore. That that's been taken care of. Uh, now the next job is to upload this onto YouTube, and it looks like YouTube has crashed. And we'll go back inside and see if they've got it back. But people are saying on on the net, the world as we know it is over. Ah, uh, gee, okay. Yeah, but there's a lot of problems too because a lot of people make their living uh, with YouTube. And it, it can be. <laughs> Somebody's going to get sued. Uh, so uh, we'll go and see if YouTube's back up. If it's not, we'll, we'll wait till it is. I mean, we have a life other than YouTube. I mean, you've got it, don't you? Gee. But some people don't. They live, they live in, the, in cyberspace. Anyway. We'll get this uploaded for you.